Hey guys, what is up? And today we are going to be learning how to make a clicker game on Scratch. And yeah, let's get right into it. So first thing you want to do is lead Scratch Cat. And then you want to either draw or pick a sprite that your player is going to be clicking. Um, I actually have no clue. Uh, what should what should it be? All right, I'm confused. Maybe. All right. So okay, let me search up. Um, what do I want it to be though? Okay, let's do a pig. Cause that's the first thing I came up with. Pig vector art. Oh, you made it. Yeah. All right. Um. Wait. Oh. Oh my God. I kind of want to do something like this. I kind of want to draw something like this. Um. No. 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 All right, I'm gonna try and draw something like that with reference imaging and i be right back. Okay, so I have a little change of plans here. Instead of doing a pig, I came up with an idea where you have to like try and break this wall as much as you can. And I don't exactly know if you'll ever be able to break it, but yeah. So, yeah. Um. All right, so after you have your sprite, you should call it whatever it is. And then you do when green flag clicked. Um, then, oh wait, all right. Um, then you broadcast a message and call it start game there. And that's just so we can make the main menu a little bit easier. And then you do when I receive start game set size to like 200 oh yeah 200 is way too big um 150 maybe yeah still too big 125 um no not 125 i'm gonna go with 100 all right boom no but 100 seems too small i just can't make up my mind all right okay i'm gonna go with 115 115 is a good size all right yeah so it says to 115 and go to zero zero so um the size number um you guys can make it however you want depending on your sprite since my sprite i drew so big um yeah oh wait i do see a little error right here i want to fix that real quick there we go okay um boom all right now we can go into the variables tab delete the my variable and make a variable called uh i don't know money i guess no cash call it cash Boom. and for now uh so just double click that variable up there and it'll turn into one of that thing and then just do um forever if Oh wait, no, drag out a if else. Okay, I have an idea to make this really good. Um, if touching mouse pointer, then we add a repeat until inside of there. Repeat until, then we go into operators, add a equals right there. Then go into look, add a size. Repeat until size is equal to 120. Change size by one. Okay, and now when you do that, it'll grow a little bit bigger. All right, fine. Maybe not 120. Maybe like 130. Or 125. And then um, in the else part, you just want to uh, duplicate this. And then do uh, repeat until size is equal to 115. Change size by negative one. So now, it should go like that, fine. Okay, let's not change, let's set this to like five. Yeah, all right, so you can kind of see that. 
effect. Um, so it tells you when you're actually hovering. Oh, uh, what if we tie three? Yeah. What? What is going on? Repeat until size is equal to one twenty five. Um. What? Okay, I want to reload the page real quick. What just happened? Excuse me? This is literally the same code. Okay, you know what? Let's just keep it to five. And then we can um, drag another if and put it right underneath the else. Like, underneath the outside of that loop. And then do if... And go into operators and then uh, do drag it at and and then touching mouse pointer and mouse down then change cache by one and then go into control wait until not and then just duplicate this oh wait no wait until not mouse down and then there you go. Oh wait, okay. Oh wait, yeah. And then when green, fl uh, yeah, okay. When green flag clicked, uh, just up here set cache to zero. Okay. So now you'll be able to do that. All right. Um, and then you know, just to add a little bit more effect to it, we can repeat until do that. Wait. Actually, wait. Let's send a broadcast message here. And uh, call it click. I spelled that wrong, but okay. And then when I receive click. Yeah, there you go. See, that looks nice. Um, Repeat until size is equal to 115. Change size by negative 5. And that looks really nice then. Okay, um, uh, now I'm gonna work on the background real quick, and I'll, uh, be right back. Okay, so I made the background fairly simple, I mean, um, yeah, and then, also, I changed the go-to positions, cause, uh, I didn't like it, cause it was, like, literally right here to, oh, wait, right, I can't drag it full screen. It was literally, like, right there, and then it looked bad, so I just... Um, changed a little, and it looks pretty good now. So, you can see that it'll, oh, wait, after a while it stops doing that. Um, what? Okay, so maybe what the problem is, if we do another when I receive start, and do that, and drag that last part into there. Okay, no, that just, that just glitches the game in like the first click. All right. Wait. How about we just put this instead of a when this sprite clicked? Right. Wait, repeat until. Oh wait, and then what if we add a stop this script? Then... Why does that not work? Okay, this is weird. This is very confusing too. Oh, uh, let me just clean this up real quick. Um... Repeat... Okay, what if we get rid of this? Okay, then I feel like it's totally fine, yeah. So, the broadcast click is a problem. So, what if we put that right there? Right there. Yeah, no. Um... We change size by 5. And then we, wait, no, okay, what if we, instead of do, 
Alright, let me put chain size by five. Chain size by okay. Wait. Zero point zero three seconds maybe. Oh wait, right, we didn't add a broadcast look right there. Okay. What if we had to stop this script at the end? Um, and then set size to 115. Okay, wait, I think that works. All right, wait, this works, all right. So we can add that, and then we can also um, just duplicate this and then stop this, and then we add a repeat 10 times, okay? Wait, no, actually, just said set, brighten it. Repeat 10 times, change brightness by 10. Then duplicate it, and then change brightness by negative 10. Okay, but that's like way too slow. Okay, and then we, how about we set brightness effects. Yeah. Um, okay, that just looks weird. Repeat two times. Change it by 50. Okay, wait. This actually looks good. I don't know why, but this actually, for some reason, looks good. And I'm going to go with this. Okay, and one final touch. Uh, if we duplicate this and we delete all the code. Yep. And we call this falling wall. Okay. And then we can do when I receive start game. Uh, actually no. When I receive click, um, set size to. Wait, we need to set size to like what? Thirty? No, thirty is still way too big. Like ten. Yeah. Okay. Set size to ten. Fifteen. Sure, why not? And then, okay. I'm just gonna hide this for a second, all right. And then we can make it go to, pick random. All right, then. Oh wait, yeah, create clone of myself. Let's add a create clone of myself. And then, um, we can do, when I start as a clone, go to, pick random, so X is supposed to be pick random negative two two four to two two four and then the Y is supposed to be that and then repeat ten times. Um okay change Y by five Okay and now oh wait negative five And then rotate, okay, fine. Let's change this to like 30. And then rotate that. Way. Okay, and then delete the clone. Delete this clone. And so now, also wait, let's add a hide right here, a show right here. And then in the wall, let's add a show right there. And the hide up there. Okay. So now, if you click, oh wait. All right. Um. Okay. Wait. When I start as a clone. Oh wait. No wait. Okay. I need to add a go to back layer. Okay. Yeah. And now it works. So yeah, guys. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. 
and I will see you guys next time, so peace out.